when it comes to making Minecraft kids content, there's obviously one correct way how to do it and one very wrong way. And in today's video, we're going to be sitting down and taking a look at a 34 year old YouTuber who is potentially making some of the worst, disgusting Minecraft kids content on the YouTube platform. However, to truly understand, we need to go back to the origins of the Athmal channel. With her uploading her first video on August 20th, 2012, being the most normal Minecraft gameplay that you could really ever imagine. And throughout the next couple years, she will consistently upload Minecraft content along with a couple other games. However, more importantly, behind this all, obviously we reveal the true passion for YouTube content creation. With her hitting 100,000 subscribers around two years later for making her first video, she was obviously off to a good start. However, as 2015 would roll around, she would soon transition her content into Minecraft roleplay, where she would begin to make Minecraft content not directly targeted to kids, but more kids who were pretty much in their tween era. However, more importantly, this content was start to foreshadow to the future. As in 2015, she was consistently uploading roleplay videos, which were a little bit weird. As despite her content not being directed towards little kids like crazy little kids, she was still consistently uploading content, which obviously would have been inappropriate for any of the potential age ranges watching her YouTube channel. With the video Minecraft Diaries Beach Vacation being an early example of Abmal revealing inappropriate topics to a potential young audience. What? No, Lord Aphmau, this is the beach, and you're meant to wear that swimsuit if you please. Plus, it makes you look very empowering and beautiful. Aw, thank you, Lord! What? How can you say something like that to her? Well, Gareth, it's because I'm not afraid of my feelings, Gareth. Aphmau well knows I like her as more than a lord and a friend. This is just getting very awkward now. And these weren't just one-off videos, they were continued themes throughout her channel's content. As Aphmau, through these videos, were actively exposing her young and impressionable audience to lust, love, love triangles, and inappropriate sexual relationships. And if the videos weren't directly tied into any of those terms, her characters throughout her series were often over-sexualized or put in a weird way. Which obviously, definitely isn't something a young, impressionable, not even teen, should be watching. And pretty much, we could sit here for the entire day, picking out a bunch of weird videos out of her channel, but Aphmau making YouTube videos for over 10 years now and having nearly 5,000 videos uploaded on her channel has been doing this for quite some time. However, in the modern day, in the last two years or so, she's completely moved over her channel to directly targeting young kids watching Minecraft content. With her changing her thumbnail style with a pretty much mock, not Nico, or Cash, both YouTubers we covered on this channel, who directly curate and make Minecraft kids content. However, like I said at the start of this video, there's a very obvious way in order to make appropriate Minecraft kids content versus making very obviously inappropriate videos. However, to truly understand, we need to take a look at her channel to see what type of content she's making nowadays. With her consistently uploading videos which are centered around weird procreation themes, with videos like who's your new daddy in Minecraft, along with pregnancy being a weird consistent topic throughout most of these videos. However, it consistently gets worse going on from this. Hey, so if you guys are interested in checking out a server with an amazing community. It would be super cool if you guys hop on Classic Realms, my server, as it's a brand new survival server which has an amazing community and I've just been chilling here live streaming playing with you guys. As a lot of these videos, I'll just put them up on screen now, has a weird consistent theme of furries or wolf pack family and a weird obsession over being the alpha or the ultima, which obviously the whole furry thing is kind of questionable and it's kind of weird, but it definitely isn't as bad as the other stuff on her channel. As obviously overdoing the themes of procreation or pregnancy onto her Minecraft kids content channel aimed towards kids is kind of weird. As obviously I wouldn't be calling this out if this were just a one-off video type of thing but obviously this is something a little bit more deeper and potentially more sinister as throughout most of her videos it's a pretty common theme however going back to some of the other weird videos she has uploaded on her channel which keep in mind this is pretty service level investigation as obviously if someone wanted to do a deep analysis on a youtube channel they get picked out over like a couple hundred videos however more themes like who's your mommy in minecraft having a wolf life in minecraft Athmal becomes a demon in minecraft one psycho on an all boys one block video, dating a vampire in Minecraft, and Aphmau fake being murdered in Minecraft. With almost every single video on her YouTube channel falling into the category of not being appropriate for younger kids to watch, but it's still a Minecraft kids YouTube channel. And honestly, after this video, I encourage you to do your own research on this topic, and if you want, just scroll around her YouTube channel and you can find many examples of inappropriate content. However, looking 
looking into her videos itself, they get a little bit even more weird. As for contrast, I'll play a clip of one of her older videos where she used her actual voice versus a clip of her nowadays. I gotta get out of here, gotta go now, no, no, no! Get back here! Come here, you! Get back here, Ralph! No, 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 uh, no! You can't run forever! <laughs> oh, maybe I can't. And it's so horrible being in the dark in this game. Yeah, I don't like being in the dark, it's like, you can't see anything. Where you guys can obviously see a big difference, but this video isn't meant to harp on her putting in a fake voice or a fake persona on for YouTube videos, as a lot of people do that. However, more importantly, it reinforces the fact that AppNow is putting on that voice to attract younger kids to watch her content. As obviously, you can compare a channel to any other Minecraft kids content channel to be able to pinpoint nearly identical similarities. However, to wrap up this video, I'm gonna end it off on one more note. AppNow is 34 years old with her husband acting being in their YouTube videos, playing characters, being 38 years old himself, and actually starting a family together, having a child. But the weird thing that kind of rubs in the wrong way is that both of them are parents, and their child is obviously going to be growing up in the same generation of the same people who are watching their content right now, and I'm nearly positive Afna would not want her kid to be engaging in this type of content or watching it whatsoever. As obviously, as I've said throughout this entire video, these people are watching these videos are young and impressionable. And I don't think it's a much far stretch to say that a lot of kids look at the app now as some type of mother, or at the very least, some type of role model which might not be present in their life. However, for now, this has been Kyle. Let me know what you guys think about this video in the comments down below. And we're about to hit 7k, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.